YouTube. Happy Remember You Singles Day. Or for those of you who are in a relationship, happy Valentine's Day. Today I will be showing you my Singles Day look. I meant to say Valentine's Day look. Singles Day for me because I'm still single. It's all good. I'm still young. I plan to still go out on Valentine's Day with my gay, my BFF, my only friend. Uh -huh. Just kidding. Anyways, um, I don't know what movie we're going to watch because I don't know what's out on the day besides boring Fifty Shades of Grey. I really wish Black Panther was out on the 14th instead of the 16th because that would have been a better movie than Fifty Shades of Grey. But we'll see what else is out. Anyways, if you want to find out how I did this somewhat average look, stay tuned. Alrighty, so we're gonna start out with the brows. So I'm gonna prime around them. Just like a little bit. And I'm sorry if I keep looking up and towards down this way, cause down here is where my mirror is and up there is the viewfinder. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using a Sprout Pounding by Cookie. <laughs> and it's a little dry because I left the cap off of it. But we're going to make it work. Those look like some pretty thick ass brows, but we're gonna clean them up right now. I'll be using the new Super Stay foundation from Maybelline. I'm gonna use it like a concealer and try to clean these brows and make them thinner. in camera but like they look thick on the camera but in my mirror they look fine I'll try making them a bit thinner since they look so thick on camera I know people normally do it with concealer but I think if you have a full coverage foundation that's pretty much the same thing Oh my god, this foundation is like trying so fast. Oh, wow, my first time using it. Yeah, that went really fast. Alrighty, so for the eye look today, nothing too crazy, nothing too dramatic, no crazy cat wing. We're gonna try to do it soft and subtle, but Valentine's Day colors, like a dark red, some pinks, burgundy. So, you know, something a little bit different from your normal day to look, your normal copper eyelid new lit look. Next we'll be moving on to eyes and I'll be using my AliExpress palette that I got for $10 and I don't know if it's safe or not but I'll show you the ingredients. It's this palette and if it looks familiar it's because this is the Makeup by Shayla palette before it was stamped on with her name. 
So I only paid $10 for it, but I think she was selling it for like 30 I believe, or like 25 I don't know if she's still selling it or not, but this is the palette, so she just like stamped on her name. So yeah, but you know, that's what people do all the time. And then here's the box so you can see all them harmful, harmful ingredients. I'm sorry about the way I talk. I think I have like some sort of speech impediment. But please be patient. This is how it looks. But it's the same palette. It just doesn't have her name on it. So we're going to stick towards the dark reds, burgundy, and pink shades for Valentine's Day. You know, something different from your normal copper eyelid and new lip. So I'm going to start out with this shade right here, just in the crease area. slowly just packing it on there. These are super pigmented. But I just want to build it up instead of like making it so dark out. I'm going to clean the brush off. Even though it's clearly dirty but like it's, it's clean. I just haven't washed it in a while. I mean, I got like other brushes. But still, I haven't washed them. I want to use them like two times. Three, maybe. They'll get washed eventually. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go into. What you been looking for? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I, I don't want to feel no more. Alrighty. And then I clean the brush again. And I'm going to go into this dark shade right here, right under the red. And I'm holding the palette upside down. This one. This is just your basic smoky eye look. No, I went too far on this side, but. So now with my finger, I'm going to put this shade right on the center of the eyelid. This one right here. I'm trying to look at the mirror. center in the corner. It's kind of like the same color. I take the peachy shade. And put it right there. Here we go. In this little crevice. I'm trying to do my best with filming. <laughs> it's like my first makeup tutorial. And then I can't really see what the camera's getting. Lights out, 
lying in your arms and these feelings start to change Alrighty, so next I'm gonna do a little bit eyeliner If you ever want to focus and I'm not gonna do a wing or anything fancy just a very thin eyeliner I feel like I need both my hands for this and I know you're not supposed to tug and pull I don't know about y'all, but normally when I attempt a wing, I put like tape on the sides because I can't do it with the brush. Alrighty, now we're gonna curl our lashes and put some mascara. Alrighty, so now we're going to prime the rest of the face. Okay, now I'm going to take an orange corrector from LA. Girl, LA girl, excuse me, I am new to this. Take my finger and pop that in. I'm gonna go with this It Cosmetics. I'm assuming Bye Bye Undry in the color. Tan. I think it's called Bye Bye Under Eye. I think so. Pretty sure. Now we're gonna do our foundation. The same one, the Maybelline Super Stay. My first time using this foundation and I think I picked out the color close enough and I really hope this is as full coverage as they claim so I don't gotta use Kat Von D anymore it's already kind of uh, more runnier than the Kat Von D foundation. Oh, I'll go through them around. From what I can see, for first impressions is that it dries very quickly. Which I'm honestly not a big fan of. As for coverage. It's very full coverage. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on some spots that I see and hopefully I won't get too cakey. I was into <laughs> but 
from what I can tell up there, it looks beautiful. But when I look in the mirror, I can see like those dark spots that it did not cover. bit darker but uh, it's winter time so I tend to be paler than I normally am normally I'm pretty super tan so I'm going to grab my wet and wild contour stick and we're gonna contour Highlight just a little bit. So now we're going to set with the Sasha Buttercup powder. And I normally don't bake really rarely because I have super creased under eyes. So regardless of what I do, it's going to settle in the lines because those aren't fine lines. Those are deep lines. I'm gonna put me some chapstick because my lips are chapped. And I exfoliated last night and they still chapped. So now we're gonna go back to the eyes. We're going to smoke the under eye now. With this darker color. And I don't think we... That'll open up our eyes instead of putting your normal black. This should open your eyes a lot more. The Wet n Wild Mega Wear, which might be discontinued by now because I found it at the Dollar Tree. Next I'll put some false eyelashes on and I didn't realize that I ran out of natural eyelashes because I don't normally put natural ones on so I'm going to use these anime looking ones because I got a lot of these anime looking ones. I'm going to be using this glue. I recommend natural looking lashes, not anime lashes for your valentine's date, but for your singles date, your singles night out, yeah, go for the anime look. Bring that attention to yourself. I've got a little blush glowing on and I'm going to grab my super old blush palette that's probably been expired for many years now, but it still smells good. The Beauty Treats one. Why on earth would I want more blush? Like, for real, like, do you see how many colors there is on this thing? They're so pigmented that like, I haven't even gone through one pan and this is the one I use the most. And it barely even looks like I touched it. So I'm going to use the same shade as always, this one in the corner. I'm 
going to add a little bit more contouring with powder. This is the Profusion palette. There's no heart beating inside your chest. It's vanished until thin air, never to be seen again. I'm gonna make sure that's blended in nicely. Because that's all what it's really about is blending. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter. And for this, normally I use like a yellow highlighter, but because it's Valentine's Day, I'm gonna go for something subtle. So this is a normal highlighter I use. But I'm gonna go for this one. It's a little bit busted. Because I took it to my Cancun trip. Instead of this one, because I didn't want to ruin this one, this is already my second one, because I lost the first one. The first one was also the Fergie collection. And I knew it was gonna break, so that's why I brought it. But I'm still I'm still gonna use it. Maybe I should have opened it up first before doing this video. My pants are gonna be shiny. Oh. I look so orange. But like, I'm gonna get darker either way. So I'm going to take this wet and wild brush, I think it's a contour one, is it? Uh, I could take a little bit of highlight. Oh, it's very subtle. Whoa! I thought it was subtle. this Cherry Skies NYX lipstick. So we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna slap on a wig to look more red, more Valentine's Day look. So I'll be right back. Silence. 